Hi, it's Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style coming to answer your colour and style questions. First one in my pot today comes from Patty. Being older and not very tall, I don't know where and how to shop for my style. So, a few little things here. Uh, just because you're older, I know a lot of fashion is basically aimed at the young. So you may not want to go into what I call the teenage stores. These are what they often otherwise in the fashion industry describe as the junior market. But everywhere else is fair game. Just because you're older doesn't mean you have to only shop in old lady stores. You can shop anywhere. It's about finding the pieces that work for you. So as far as knowing where and how to shop, uh, it's really understanding your style. So there are a few elements of style that are really useful to understand. Firstly, what colours suit you and make you look great. So they're the kind of colours you're looking for. And you will find that within any fashion spectrum, there'll be some colours that work for you and some that don't. And that's normal. Uh, then there is understanding what suits you physically. So your body shape, your body proportions, body variations, all the bits and pieces that go into the clothing styles that work for us. Um, so understanding those elements of style. And I've got a free body shape calculator on the blog, um, as well as lots of information in my Seven Steps of Style program as well about the shapes and, and, and kind of that you're looking for in your clothes. Now, if you are petite, what this means is, is that that is what I call a body variation, that you want to make sure there's some elements with petiteness that are really important to think about. That is, A, you get overwhelmed by too much fabric very easily. So this oversized um, trend that's out at the moment isn't great for you. It's better to think about more fitted clothes rather than really big or unstructured clothes. Even things like the sleeve lengths are too long or hem lengths are too long, that can overwhelm you. And even things like in a waterfall cardigan or something as simple as that, too much fabric here, it just kind of swamps you. So it's thinking about making sure there's not too much fabric in the clothes for you, that it doesn't swamp you. And also being aware that the proportions may need to be a bit shorter because most fit models for most stores may be in the kind of five foot ten sort of kind of category. And if you're petite, that means clothes are probably this much too long on the whole. So part of it is... Um, you know, like uh, knowing that you're going to have to take things up. So it can be looking at petite size uh, ranges. And often, and I know I have friends in America who are petite and they say, you know, there's a lot more in the online petite world than there is in store. So you have to kind of almost order stuff, try it on at home and then send it back. Like they don't, even the same stores like Nordstrom, like department stores, don't have as much petite on the floor as they do online. So don't dismiss the online world. Also, go and have a look at some online, you know, some, some blogs of petite petite style people. You'll find that there's lots of petite blogs out there for petite style. And have a look at which brands and manufacturers they go to because they've probably done a lot of research, tried on a lot of things. I know here in Australia that some brands cut a little bit shorter through the body and other ones cut longer. So if you're petite, you want to go to the ones that you've got a more chance that even if you do have to take it it up. There's less to be taken up that somewhere they just have so much extra fabric. They're making their stuff for taller people. Uh, so do have a look. But some online research. So I go have a look at some there's fantastic petite bloggers out there. So I do recommend having a look at what clothing you know that they wear and recommend because that can really give you some ideas of where to go shopping as well and which brands have got a better chance of working. And there are some great kind of tutorials and things about you know like you know, uh, the tailoring of clothes to make them fit someone who is more petite as well. So that is also something to consider. Um, at what you can actually do as far as alterations. Alterations are just a part of life. It, it is one of those things, it's rather than kind of railing it against it and thinking, I wish I didn't have to do that, kind of accept it and go, that's just a part of getting clothes that fit and look good and make you feel good as well. Um, and then thinking about your style recipe, because without that, even with the shapes and the colours, it's still, but do I want a floral pattern or do I want an animal print? Is it, is it abstract? Is it, um, you know, stripes? Is it polka dots? Is it checks? You know, there's a million different sorts of patterns. So simple things like that, still part of your personality and your personality style. So understanding that and then developing your own style recipe. What other details do you like? What do you hate and never want to go near? Uh, so 
all those things really there's kind of a lots of things and i do have my you know nine secrets to unlocking your you know the style puzzle and i do recommend you can it's a free download on my blog it's got lots of links in that to lots of different blog posts to help you find more out about your style as well and of course my seven steps of style program kind of walks you through each of these and gives you the personalized information that you need for yourself as well uh so I would say, you know, they are some steps to think about because I know, you know, just being older, like there's no reason, there's no reason you can't wear jeans. There's no reason, there's nothing much you can't wear as an older woman that you can't wear as a younger woman. It's just part of it becomes this mental thing that I have to only wear, you know, kind of older lady clothes. And really, I think it's just a matter of going, well, what suits my style recipe? Because if it suits your style recipe, it suits you. And if, if you've understood your body and your figure flattery guidelines and all those sorts of things, it's going to work really well for you. Um, doesn't matter what store it is from. And there's millions of stores out there and there's so much online. It is definitely doing, you know, worth doing online research. Even if you go into stores to try things on, definitely doing online research is really going to help you. Um, Get a broader, you know, more information before you hit the shops because it can be depressing if you're traipsing around and it's exhausting and you're trying to find things uh, that it is worthwhile doing that online research. Even to say, I'm going to go to these three stores today and these are the garments I'm looking for to try on because I know they should work with the things I've understood about my personal style, my body, my coloring and those sorts of things. Because of course though, until you try them on, you never know because we don't know about the cut. And sometimes it can be that they've cut it a bit funny in the armholes and it's uncomfortable in your arms or whatever it might be, or the rise is not correct, that the way that it's been cut. And that's just the, you know, the luck of the draw in a way. But it is definitely worthwhile doing that bit of research and getting that style education to help you be more armed before you try shopping.